both probably very comfortable with the matchup, right? Um, right. It's going to be clean gameplay about it. The better player is going to win. It's not going to be a matchup and experience thing. Yeah, this is more like a player to player at this point. They yeah. both really, I'm pretty sure they played each other plenty of times. They've seen these characters plenty of times. So two two already, Westchester PR players, right? Like they're they're both regulars here all the time. Already Jake Ron starting off pretty hot right now, giving Bobo no time to breathe. But I feel like Bobo's easily going to catch up. Like he's um, kind of similar to what Charles is doing in the last set. It's just kind of playing a mid rangey game and just using a lot of combat hitboxes to contest against Greninja. And also staying really grounded because Greninja can catch up to Snake really easily in the air. Already with a panic air dodge and Jake Run showing very patient right yep. there. Jake Run showing that he's aware of that. Um, Counter? Oh, 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 nice reaction yeah, right that's there. Good. Um, I think similar to the Pikachu Snake matchup, Greninja's got this neutral B that just acts as a good harassment tool, forces a snake that's holding a grenade to drop the grenade, right. um, forces a snake into shield. Already seeing Bobo immediately throwing a grenade, not trying to get any type of specific setup, but we don't need it if we have a powerful up to waiting for the landing right there. Yep. And uh, Bobo, Bobo sort of catching Jay Grunt mashing a little bit on the on the landing dare, not connecting all the hits. Uh, uh, Toxicroak just... Ooh. Did an aerial attack option and Bobo was able to punish him. What I like about Bobo's playstyle is that he's one of the most aggressive snakes that I have ever seen in this entire state. But he still has a grenade usage idea. Like right there, he held the grenade, timed the up throw one, and just barely tacked it right there. Yep. I mean, grenade recovery is always interesting. I think Bobo probably wanted to tech the stage on that one um, yeah. and might have just dropped that. Uh, but but not getting punished for it. And, oh, my uh, God. Oh, and the sub that's what I forgot to mention that. Like, Bobo's really aggressive. Like throwing a lot of limbs and stuff, but when he has a grenade setup, he would really show you these powerful grenade setups that he had right there. And already bringing Jigger into his last dock, yet to take Bobo's at all, except for that blessing that I gave him right there. It's a, a big, big snake matchup thing is uh, if they down throw you at the ledge like Bobo did on that last dock, charging a down smash covers a lot of options and will kill a lot of those options so it's it's a, right. it's a good one to to call out it was uh, a good recognition so. that bobo knew that he can immediately throw out a move yeah. to force out the animation to pop up yeah i feel like the only i feel like the only way to get out of that scenario as a fast pull is that you would di off the stage and just immediately grab the ledge and then react from there yeah. that's the only idea i can imagine but back to this matchup right now Jake Run kind of catching back right now. Is well, he has down the very, stock. Yeah, I was like, he's, he's slowly catching up. Already having Bobo at 60%, but Ooh. Bobo one step ahead of him, bringing him off stage. No Nikita set up. Oh, oh, but the up smash and the no, backer no. coverage. Jake Run had no option except to roll right there. That's that's unlike him. I mean, that's unlike him to get hit by that by yeah. the by the up smash at ledge with just by picking a jump option. But it was um, really smart because up smash covers jump, and a lot of Greninjas. Not even just Jagron, but like majority of Greninjas where you do regular get up or just jump. Yeah. Because jump, because Greninja's the top three jump. best jump. Yeah. yeah. Top Greninja is top three best jumpers in the game. So they most of the time can get away with that rather than like most casts, you have an average jump. You can and also throw out an aerial to destroy the to destroy the mortar. And I'm thinking what he wanted to do there was jump counter. Yeah, um, that's but what I, I think was, he just yeah. got the timing wrong. That's what I was calling out at the at game one at Jagron's first stock when he came up for Bobo's explosive traps. <laughs> I thought he was at the counter. But we'll play and some then, basketball with the grenades. I love to see it. <laughs> oh, we might see some drag downs coming in. Oh, nice grenade pull right there. Trying to make Jake run respect, but he is not respecting at all. Just going to keep hitting the hitboxes. Yeah, so I, I those those positions where, where Snake is sort of above Greninja and he's getting out of these combos with grenade, it's good for Greninja because Snake is taking the grenade damage plus the aerial damage. Yeah. Um, and since, since Toxic Croak is, is winning, has a lower percent, I think he'll just keep taking those until he's not winning anymore. What makes it more interesting is that Jake Run is not just randomly throwing out hitboxes. He's maneuvering around wherever position that Snake is holding their grenade at. Like, whenever Snake pulls out the grenade from behind, he will jump around the entire explosive hitbox and still throw a lot of pressure in front of his shoe. <laughs> All right, what's the setup right here for Bobo? Let's let Jake Run respect. Oh, oh peacefully comes tr back. Tries to pick up the grenade, but just jabs instead. It, it happens. <laughs> any any character, any player who plays with an item character will tell you. Oh, and, yeah, nice down to the fair setup right there. And this time, Jake Run being the first one to take it. Yep. Oh. Jake Run probably knows his percent. Jake Run matters so. right here. Ooh. Oh, try to do the Eli classic. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, Butter up forward smash on I, the ledge. I, I, I have, in fact, forward smash Toxic Coke <laughs> on the recovery uh, time or two in my day. <laughs> Every time I see that buttered up forward smash, I'm like, oh, hold up. Am I watching the right player? <laughs> you know, it's just it's, it's hard to punish. It's hard to punish. It doesn't have much end lag. And it will kill real early. But it's one of those things that, like, if you miss time in one time, then you can get a punish, depending yeah. on the character. But, I mean, Ooh, nice wow. jump read from Jake run yeah. right there. And wow, what a. I, well, yeah, I think this is a dominant lead. This all all, all Bobo lead, needs is one grab to make it, to almost make it even. I right mean, there. and Jake run can just take these grenades. Like, the grenades are not going to kill unless he's, like, high up until 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 Toxic Coke is at, like, 220% or something. Right. So he can take a few more grenades. Ooh, that's And a knowing Jake run, he. Oh, my God. Tries to oh, gimp right. him with the, with the Shadow Sneak. Yeah. Oh, he missed times to turn around. Bobo oh, knows he oh. needs this grab, but Jake Run is not giving it to him easily. Oh my god! Oh my the drag god. down to no jump jumps? reads? No jump, oh my god. I think. Oh, this man is all again. over him right now. The, t the punish? Oh. oh, I thought he was going to do it for down smash. Yeah. That was a that was a, a, a re grab punish right there. Yep. Yeah, I think. I think. Oh, that's it. That's yeah, it, and fine. that's it. This is, is the momentum that Bobo kind of needs right now. Jake Run can. Uh, Toxic can just take as down many throw. grenade trades as he wants. He has true combos that will kill. He put the snake above him. He's just going to take more damage and put him into kill percent. Like, this is a really hard comeback from here. Um, but that said, he could have smash him at ledge. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. That S smash didn't work. <laughs> he might up smash again like he did in game one. Yeah, that's true. But, you know, Down that kills at lower up. percent. <laughs> Doesn't matter percent. this time. Oh. F smash? <laughs> <laughs> no! F <He's> smash! <laughs> He's not a madman. He knows what he needs to do. He knows what the people want. <laughs> I'm calling it right now. The next time he less traps him, he gonna, he's going to have a sour saw back air kill. Uh, Greninja will? No. Or um, Snake? <laughs> Greninja? I don't know, dude. What the hell? That's a player. <laughs> yeah. What? You said Greninja. Greninja. Oh, I. I just, I'm, just not, I'm just no good at talking, dude. It makes sense. You know what? But Jay Grin's going to have... His two stock back. Yeah, no, yeah. that was, I mean, that was just I think because, yeah, yeah, because the bubble did the same thing again. All right, all right. We might run it back. They're not going to really think about the stages like that. But what I feel uncomfortable in the matchup is that Greninja's really good at catching up to Snake when he recovers high. Absolutely. And as we saw right there, like, Bobo tried mixing it up, recovering low. But Jay Grant was just playing around with him, like Shadow Sneak, back air. Yeah. Are, am, am, are you going to miss time your tech? Because you don't know if I'm going to hit you with a one hit move or a multi hitting move. So Bobo is really pressured right there. So I feel like we might see a lot more high recoveries with some Cypher cancels. And then the less trapping is going to have to be a lot more stronger because Jay Grant was just moving at that game, too. Yeah, for sure. All right. Recognizes the grenade is not going to fiend yet. So like the, drag down. this is this is what Tox Croak does so well. He just he just keeps the pressure on. Right, oh. oh, but not, not enough with the C4, C4 recognition. Oh, that's that's a shame. <laughs> Can't compliment anything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, it's like it was it was he was running such a clinic on him, and then he got hit by a C4 I hate that it he didn't that realize that, was there. Yo, I hate it when that and happens. And now it's even. <laughs> you try to hype up somebody, no matter <laughs> who it is, and it's like, oh, you did it, man. The C4 you could have at least keep it going until I was done with my sentence. Oh, wow, with the Hydro Pump setup right there. So the that Hydro actually pump, can kill. Yeah, it can kill, and also, even if it doesn't kill and you catch the air dodge, right, they're going to go up, and now they've air dodged. Yeah. They don't have Cypher. And I was like, ah, like, crap. It, like, I ran out of all my resources, but yeah. I'm still high up in the air. Yep. Almost getting hit by that, but Greninja, Greninja does have a low profile that can avoid uh, C4 on platforms mm -hmm. when, he's, when he's running or, or crouching. Oh, another jump yet again. Snake barely having an easy time punishing Greninja's jump. Oh, oh no, but what a C4 drop. drop. No, not the C4s. <laughs> don't get don't that always, the C4s. Someone is always going to get caught at least by two C4 drops out of nowhere in a game. Yeah, and it's like the, the, the falling B-reverse C4 is sort of just like a, a Snake player classic, yeah. right? Like, because most of the time, like, when... when now, I wouldn't say beginner or mediocre, but like most people that would try to punish Snake. Well, that was good. A great chase. Speaking of punish right there, good. Recognizing that the Cypher was not fast enough to overcome the jumps. And and to avoid that, Bobo would have had to commit real hard yeah. to like an air dodge, um, which he just. And I think we've seen that in a game too, too. Like he had to commit really hard to a defensive air dodge, and Bobo was ready for it at all times. Oh, good grenade setup, yeah, but not cool. enough to make it true. Still solid, solid 25% or something from, from these throw to grenade conversions. And right now, Jay Grunt is. Desperate trying to push him at the side of the stage already. already we've already seen that Jake Run is 
already trying to do a lot of back is forcing it, forcing Bobo to go off stage because I feel like he knows the longer this game is going to happen, the, the more chances that Bobo is going to catch up in the adaptation. Yeah, well, yeah, and I mean, Bobo is... At least for this, at least in this specific side. Bobo, what Bobo wants to do here is take the stock as soon as he can and then offer a bunch of grenade trades um, while he's up a stock. That's another factor that we forgot to mention with the with Jake Run. Like the, the fact that Good many grenade Shadow grenade. Shurikens are already annoying in the neutral, that Snake can't comfortably just randomly pull out grenade. The, if yeah. he's holding grenade and shield, he can also mix up the bigger Shurikens to make it explode while you're still in shield stun too. Yeah. So that's another factor that Jake Run is pulling out right now, trying to force Bobo to keep an honest neutral. Yeah, Shuriken, Shuriken prevents Bobo from just throwing grenades. Out, oh, out of, good out of burst, burst threat but range. doesn't get out the grenade range. Oh, good nice call DI. Good call landing from, from uh, Toxicroak. I'm expecting a Shadow Sneak right now, the next time he uh, jumps in. Neutral. I've had so many conversations with Bobo about Nikita in neutral. Oh, man, he just loves God. it. <laughs> <laughs> the reverse up tilt, that was actually kind of clean. Yeah, for sure. Oh, good down there out of shield. That's not Ooh. safe technically. Oh, it's not safe on a no. on a, on a FTO? The only time Perhaps fair is safe fair. is on, at least specific characters can get away with it. But like for something like Snake, he can just Beautiful. drift with down there, no matter what type of drift Greninja does. That was good matchup knowledge from uh, from Toxicroak, knowing that the down throw would um, destroy the grenade in addition to right. keeping the throw armor. That's that's not too many people know Snake. that. A lot of characters have have throws that will destroy Ooh, a grenade right there, God. so it's important to know. And as we stated again, Bobo yet doing another high pan of recovery, and Jake Run fully ready for that. Punishes him twice in a row right here, pushing into his last stock. Yeah. Good spacing right there. Not trading with the grenade, but it's going to force him off stage. Oh, oh wow. What, what an option. Madman. <laughs> that was all specifically called out for that one to get up. Ooh, oh almost got the conversion there. That, that actually would have killed, killed too. 100%. <laughs> Snake's up air being one of the most underrated, strongest areas in the entire game. And you can convert off a grenade with, like, <laughs> infinite reaction time. It's amazing. It's an amazing move. <laughs> oh, oh just my landing, God. Getting the up tilt, and that's going to kill. That's going to do it. That was, that was, but that was like the yeah. baby brawl hitbox right there. My man was behind him, but the hitbox still came in front. Like, it's, it's the clapping of the booty cheeks. <laughs> it's not just.